Hey guys, welcome to the ML series of uh, Code Wrestling. The topic which we are going to learn today is the candidate elimination. Before starting, build your basics by watching our previous video of Find a Cell Algorithm. The link of the video is mentioned in the description. So here the new term which we are going to introduce is version space. It is intermediate of both specific as well as general hypothesis. It not only just returns the one hypothesis, instead a set of all possible hypotheses based on the training data set. It can be something seen as like this. This is our general hypothesis. This is the specific hypothesis. The intermediate hypothesis that is the set of hypothesis is our version space. So now we are good to go with our candidate elimination algorithm. It uses uh, version spaces and it has both specific as well as general hypothesis. It considers both positive as well as negative exa examples. For a positive example, we tend to generalize our specific hypothesis. That is, we, we move from top to bottom, that is from specific hypothesis to general hypothesis. This is what we have seen in our find us algorithm. When, whenever we encounter a negative example, then we tend to move from general to specific example, specific hypothesis. That is from bottom to top. We achieve more specificity whenever we encounter a negative example. Now we will see its algorithm. So in the algorithm, the very first step is to initialize your general as well as a specific hypothesis that can be initialized by S and G. The number of the number of files and the question marks depends on the number of attributes present in your data set. As we have seen, for each example, for, and if the example is positive, then you have to make a specific hypothesis more general, as we were doing in Finders algorithm. That is moving from top to bottom, making your specific hypothesis more general. And whenever we have a negative example, then you have to make your general hypothesis more specific. This is what your algorithm says. Now let's understand it with an example. Consider the data set over here. The concept which we are learning here is days on which person enjoys the sport. The possible output is yes and no. Yes can be considered as a positive example. No can be considered as a negative example. Other than this, we have six attributes that is the sky, temperature, humidity, wind, water and forecast. As we have seen, the very first step was to initialize your specific hypothesis as well as general hypothesis. Thus, we have initialized our S0 as well as G0, that is our specific as well as general hypothesis. Now, for each example, we will see whether it is a positive example or a negative example. Here, our first row, that is first example, is a positive example. Hence, we have to check our most specific hypothesis. So our most specific hypothesis here for the first example will be sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm and same. And the general hypothesis will remain same. Now let's see our second example. Again my second example is a positive example. Thus I will make changes in my specific hypothesis. How I will make changes? I will compare my each and every attribute and if the attribute value is different from the hypothesis value then I will put a question mark on that place. Let's see here. This is my hypothesis. This is my example. I am comparing my each and every attribute that is sunny or oh, here also sunny. So I will write my final hypothesis as sunny. Here it is warm. Here it is warm. I will also write warm. Here it is high but I have normal. Thus I have to generalize it by putting a question mark over here. Then I have a strong again strong I'll write strong here I have warm again my hypothesis says warm thus no need to make any changes warm here again I have same in my example same in my hypothesis space so I'll write same so this was my second hypothesis space most hypothesis space now my general hypothesis will again remain same that will that is all the question mark now let's see our third example my third example is no that is a negative example so here, we don't have to make changes in the most specific hypothesis, but we will make changes in the general hypothesis. The reason of doing it, in the general hypothesis, we'll consider all the examples. It will also consider my negative example too. But I don't want my negative example, I just want my positive example. That's why we will move more towards specificity. We will 
make specific we will make our general hypothesis more specific how we are going to do is again we will compare each and every attribute with my most specific hypothesis I will compare my each and every attribute with most specific hypothesis whenever I will find any different then I will make a individual pair of this specific this hypothesis okay so let's see how it is first attribute is sunny rainy so here also it is sunny here it is sunny here it is rainy that is there is a difference thus thus I will make an individual pair for sunny then I have cold and here I have warm again it is different thus I will make an individual pair for warm similarly here it is question mark thus it can be generalized it can attain any value so it doesn't matter we will not write it strong here also strong it is same no problem here it is warm here it is warm thus no problem here it is change here it is same thus it is different over here thus, thus I will make one more individual pair for same now let's see the next example next example is a positive example thus we have to see our most specific hypothesis again the same procedure compare each and every attribute sunny here also sunny so I will write sunny warm here also warm then I will write warm it is question mark so you can take any values so thus write question mark here it is strong here it is strong thus strong here it is cool here it is warm thus different values hence generalize it put a question mark over here here it is change here it is same thus again put a question mark here but now let's observe one thing and the specific hypothesis before that it was same now it has question mark that means it can achieve any value it can achieve either same or it can achieve change but our general hypothesis says that it should always be same hence it, it is making a contradiction over here thus because our specific hypothesis has been changed I have to make some changes in my general hypothesis thus here I will remove my last pair which says that it should always contain same thus my final answer will be the specific hypothesis should be this and the general hypothesis should be this thus the version spaces which I will obtain over here is general hypothesis sunny warm specific hypothesis sunny warm strong and the version space which I will get that is the set of hypothesis which I will get is sunny strong sunny warm warm strong this too can be obtained from this general hypothesis this too can be obtained from this general hypothesis so this was all about candidate elimination algorithm so guys I hope you have learned and enjoyed our video stay tuned with us do like subscribe share with your friends and don't forget to give your valuable feedback to us thank you